Hi folks, I'm Bill and we're back here on the front porch at the Banana Plantation for another in the tie-dye instructional video series. What we're going to do today is socks. I'm going to show you how to do these socks on rolled up newspapers. It's up to, it's up to you to figure out how I got these socks onto the newspapers, but it uh, shouldn't be too hard if you try hard. What I've done is already done the hard work and mixed up all the dyes. All the dyes as well as the socks I purchased from Dharma Trading Company in San Rafael, California. That's dharmatrading.com on the internet. I made up, let's see, this is red wine, let's see, fuchsia, red wine, amethyst, yellow, golden yellow, orange, what's that, that's caiman, turquoise, aquamarine. I don't know what this one is. That's the aquamarine. That's azure. Uh, grape and blue violet. So we've got a veritable, veritable cornucopia of colors here today. And let me put this on a stand and we'll show you how to do it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is make some of the banana plantation special socks. That'll be yellow and turquoise and we're going to make green too. This is a pair of women's size. This is uh, women's 9 to 11. These I'm making for myself. These are the men's 11 to 13. Shake up your dye. Make sure it's mixed up real well and just start squirting. And wherever the yellow and the blue combine, you get green. Isn't that cool, kids? It's color theory. You can learn all sort of things doing tie-dye. And there's one pair made already. Put them over here to cure for a while. And the next thing we're going to do is make a little bit of the hot tamale baby style for Clifton Chenier, the king of the Zydeco. I'm going to use red, amethyst, fuchsia, yellow, gold. I'm just going to put splotches here and there. With this color and that color. and It'll be beautiful, believe me. Yellow, a little bit of amethyst. Just mix this up and see how it's going to work. Mm. 
These are going to be for Chris. She wanted some hot looking socks. Like I said, all the dyes in these socks, especially, were purchased at Dharma Trading in San Rafael. DharmaTrading.com on the internet. Well, that's good we're uh, here today. But I earned yet. These socks, because I got them from Dharma, not because I got them, I got them from Dharma because they dye all the way down with beautiful colors. They do not heather as some socks do. You'll get really nice colors up here and then sort of dull, non-vibrant ones down here. That's what's called heathering. Yes, these socks are more expensive, but boy howdy, they're a heck of a lot cooler, I can tell you that. Yeah, let's see. I think I've already used the red wine. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Red wine anesthesia. So I'm using red wine, amethyst, fuchsia, yellow, orange. Probably throw a little bit of the uh, golden yellow in there too. Some on the point. Look at that. Ain't that cute? Where's the gold? These will jump and make you jump too. And that's how you do it, folks. Try it on your own. Be sure to remember that you have to soak your socks or garments or shirts, whatever, in soda ash. Wring them all out. And then that will, the soda ash prepares the socks and fabric for accepting the dye and to make it bond more better to use uh, fractured chemistry terminology there. That's how you do the socks. Have fun. We'll see, we'll see you in the next tie-dye instructional video.